So we're gonna be sinking the carbs on the CB sinking the carbs today. So I didn't record me making them, but to make it easy to put the hose into where you need to put it to sink your carbs, I got a, I believe it was an M5 by 0.8 bolt I cut the head off and I drilled a hole in it like so there you go so I drilled a hole in it and then this this just goes into the end of your hose and then it'll just screw into your uh, you take out This bolt, I already took it out, but this bolt goes right there on that side of the carb boot. And that's where your vacuum port, I guess you would want to say, goes. So you take that out. There's four of them. You'll see them. They're all on the same side. They're all right beside this boot. And there, and it's got this little Phillips screw in there. So you take them out. So then you just... You screw this in there a little bit and you you plug your hose onto there and see what happens. So I got these all hooked up now I think into everywhere. So what you want to do is start it and it's got vacuum so you want Carb 2, it's a 1980. Carb 2 is uh, what you want to sync it up to. And uh, I'll try and show you here. This, I believe, there's, uh, let's get this out of the way. There you can see it. This screw here is what you adjust your carbs with. And uh, carb two doesn't have that screw, so there'll be three. And the reason it doesn't have it is that's the one you sink to. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. I think they're all fairly similar. This is the one we're doing all over. It's hard to tell because they're bouncing so much. I turn the throttle down a bit. I think they're all fairly similar. And it sounds like it's running quite a bit better. These things aren't all zeroed out either. I don't know how to, you can adjust that at all. Like they're not all starting at the same. Off. This one's right in the middle, right in the middle. And then this one is on that side. So they're not all starting out the same. So it might be kind of hard to gauge that. So this one might actually be a little bit that way. So yeah. I went and got these little uh, valves. It's an air valve for a, uh, I went to the pet store. And it's for an air stone to control the air that goes. So hopefully those make that not... Uh, vibrate so much. Well, let's give it a whirl.
pretty good. They're close. I guess if you, uh, they bounce and if they're around 10 or so, I think I've heard. But it sounds all right. And this worked out so the needles don't flap around so much. With this one, this needle was flapping in between this line and the 10. This one was flapping in between there. And this one was flapping. Those ones are old. These ones are old. I'm. It's all good. They're all the same. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. How they are. How they turned out. That it's. Uh, I think they're all synced up very close. Never done it before. So. I think my little homemade. Jimmy rig. Turned out pretty good. So that's how you synchronize the carburetor on a 1980 750 CB750. And these were all just vacuum, like the these gauges are just a vacuum gauge I got at uh, Princess Auto, I think. And then uh, the hoses, pretty sure I also got those all at Princess Auto. And then the airline was just at uh, PetSmart for an air stone in an aquarium and it worked otherwise yeah it'd be the needle was flapping around way too much i got it close but you put those airline valves on there and it just wobbles around a lot less you can get it a lot more accurate so yeah i'll probably do it for this one how you synchronize carbs thanks for learning with me hopefully it helped the next one i have a uh, hydraulic line for this guy not a hydraulic line but like a brake line or whatever for this uh actuator thing for my clutch i'm gonna swap out I'm going to take the suicide shift stuff off. It was cool, but oh well. I'll uh I'll put a regular shift to have another another gold one lever that I thought I took home, but it might be at the in the shop yet. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We will see you in the next one.